talking to you. What do you want? Car no, I'm not. Do you see this? This is mine. Mine. I, I, I know you're thirsty, but Caesar, I didn't sleep good last night, and, and I really need to drink my coffee. Like, mm, mm. It's so good. Do you, do you think I should drink it without the straw? Yeah, you want the straw? Should I drink it like this? Mmm. You want some? Okay. Fine. You can have that much. How's that? I, I know, but I'm really tired. And, and the cup. Okay, you drink all that in a hurry. You know what, Caesar? Tell you what. You can drink the coffee, and I'll read a book, and maybe that will wake me up. You think I should read this book? You think I should read The Princess and the Pea? Well, that would be very appropriate, considering it's a story about a girl who doesn't have a good night's sleep. And I didn't have a good night's sleep. Oh, at all. You think that's funny? Yeah, I know. Well, from somebody who sleeps the entire winter, you have no room to talk. <laughs> all right, well, let's go ahead and read. So see, I don't know if you know, we've been talking about fairy tales in our, um, in our study with my preschoolers at the library. And last week we talked about the Grimm fairy tales. And so I thought this week we could talk about Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales. And Hans Christian Andersen is from Denmark. He was a, a Danish um, author and he wrote The Little Mermaid, which everybody knows because that was a Disney movie. He also wrote some other very famous um, fairy tales like The Ugly Duckling and uh, The Steadfast Teenage Soldier. And if you've watched some Disney movies, there's one called The Little Match Girl that's on a little um, short. He wrote that one. Um, he also wrote the one that Frozen and Frozen 2 are based on called The Snow Queen. Um, he wrote a bunch of excellent fairy tales. They're very good. But believe it or not, he wasn't very popular when he got started. He was not very famous at all. It wasn't until halfway through his lifetime that he became very popular. So we'll go ahead and we'll read um, The Princess and the Pea by Princess and the Pea by, Ma by Hans Christian Andersen and retold by Maya Dusakova. And this is a really good copy of this story. There's lots of retellings by Hans Christian Andersen. Um, and I just kind of like this one. I like the illustrations and I like the, the way the tale is retold. So um, see if you can't find a copy of this book too. All right, so Hans Christian Andersen's The Princess and the Pea. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but she would have to be a real princess. He traveled all over the world to find one. There were lots of princesses, but it was difficult to know whether they were real or not. Doesn't want to marry a fake one. There was always something about them that wasn't quite right. So the prince came home to the palace alone, feeling disappointed and sad. Da -da -da. One evening there was a terrible storm with thunder and lightning and pouring rain. Boom, crash. Ah! Suddenly there was a knock at the palace door. And the old king went to open it. <laughs> I guess maybe the servants had the night off. <laughs> and there was a princess standing outside in the rain. But in our illustration, she doesn't look very much like a princess, does she? She's kind of wet, bedraggled, and doesn't look very princessy. But good gracious, what a state she was in. Water ran down her hair and, and dripped off of her clothes. It ran into the toes of her shoes and out again at her heels. And yet, she said she was a real princess. I don't know. That's a pretty sad seat for a princess to be in. We'll soon find out about that, thought the queen. But she said nothing. Instead, she went into the guest bedroom and she placed a pea on the bed. Dude, that's a grape. Still, it's small and green. Then she asked for 20 mattresses to be laid on top of the pea. Wow, that would be a lot of mattresses. That's a lot of mattresses. And then 
20 quilts to be laid on top of the mattresses. I don't know if I want to make a bed with 20 quilts on top of 20 mattresses. Wow. The princess had to sleep on top of all of them all night long. How did she get up there? Wow. That must have been a pretty squishy soft bed. In the morning, everyone in the palace asked the princess how she had slept. Oh, very badly, she said. I hardly closed my eyes all night. Heaven only knows what was in that bed, but I was lying on something very hard, and I'm black and blue all over. Oh, my goodness. Now they knew that she was a real princess because she had felt the pee right through the 20 mattresses and the 20 quilts. Nobody but a real princess could be as sensitive as that. So the prince asked her to be his wife. The pee was put in a museum where it may still be seen. And that is a true story. And they got married and lived happily ever after. You see the pee that they put on display? Now, that's not really a true story. That's just um, the author telling you that that was a true story. But it's a fun story to imagine. Can you imagine sleeping on top of all those mattresses and still feeling an itty bitty little pee at the bottom? Caesar's back. Oh, Caesar's eating to go with your coffee, huh? Excellent. Did you like that story, Caesar? Yes, I'm, I'm glad you did, Caesar. Okay, well, you go enjoy your granola bar. <laughs> I'm going to go back to drinking my coffee. And, boys and girls, if you enjoyed that story, come on down to the Herb Memorial Library in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania, and check out some of the other great fairy tales um, by the Grimm Brothers and Han Christian Anderson that we have on our shelves for you. Right now, you can't browse the stacks, but you're welcome to go online, and you can do a subject search or an author search, and it'll call up all those books, and we'd be happy to put them out for you to check out and read. Um, they're great stories, and they're a lot of fun to read. Many of them have excellent illustrations in them, too. I think you would enjoy them. Um, if you can't make it to our library, check out your other local library um, or read online. There's lots of excellent um, books that you can get on your Kindles online for books also. And last but not least, while you're at the library, remember to pick up your craft bag. We're gonna show you guys how to do a craft that goes along with this story today. And also pick up your coloring pages and your challenge activity bags because this week we're gonna talk all about trust because Obviously, the queen didn't trust that the princess was really a princess, when indeed she actually was. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye!